every February I spend a couple of weeks snowshoeing in the UP and northern Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota. Again, following routes drawn up by Venerable Bishop Berriga. He was such an inspiration to me. And the more that I do that, the closer I get to my own God. It, I, I find it just exhilarating and I want to know so much more. This leg, I'll be going from here to uh, Harbor Springs to uh, Holy Childhood. Holy Childhood was there when Berger was there. That's one of the first areas that he came to. And I've been doing this for 11 years now. Um, this is actually the shortest route I've taken. I went from Gaylord, I'll uh, end up in Holy Childhood. It's taken me three days and I'll finish today. Um, it's just first off to bring awareness to the cause for sainthood for um, what we hope one day will be St. Berga. He's venerable right now, so we have another step to go for sainthood. And it is to also to let people know that in, in this area, my family attended Holy Childhood and had wonderful things to say about Holy Childhood. So I look forward to, to making it over there today. But this is more about bringing people to Jesus Christ. You know, I, I hope that by some method, some means, they get to, to talk to God. You know, it's, it's what I do on the trip. I, uh, I meditate a lot about the, the mysteries of the rosary and um, about Berga and, and about Catholicism in this area. And what a great blessing it was to my, my brothers and sisters of the native community. That was a, a real blessing yesterday. Our new bishop, Jeffrey Walsh, was able to come for about 10 miles with me. He's like a young Berga. He was running up hills and jumping over trees. It was a blessing to have him with me yesterday. The hardest part of the day yesterday was trying to keep up with the new bishop. He had lots of questions about, um, about Berga. And he's, he's, uh, he's read up quite a bit about, about Berga and his travels and knows a lot about the history and I was able to share a lot of the history of the Berger's interaction with the native people yesterday. One of the great things about Berger was he learned the language first of the Anishinaabe and he taught Catholicism in their language. So much more easy for them to understand when they heard it from the language they were born with. And he had a gift for languages. I actually work out pretty much constantly. Um, but specifically for the walks, I start off uh, as soon as it's cold enough to have to wear this sort of gear. I start off, you know, I'll do five to six miles a day and then I build it up to, I like to be able to do about 20 miles a day by the time I start the walk itself. And I start off with about 20 pounds in my backpack and I end up with about 80 to 85 so that I'm fit enough to be able to do this. This year, my finish will be at Holy Childhood. I should be there in time for Mass tonight. Uh, looking forward to that and having a, a nice warm bed to sleep in tonight will be wonderful. <laughs>